Last week, I shared with you a rule called apply color. And I was using that rule on a building information model, BIM, IFC, Industry Foundation class building that I'd imported using the data interoperability extension. And it came in as a bunch of multi-patches uncolored, so I was using apply color to give it some kind of compelling color and context. Um, but I got a couple questions about the scene and how the scene was created. The first one was how the park spaces around this building were created. So what I have here is two rules. The first one is park formal. So you apply it to a shape. What it does is it splits that shape lengthwise and widthwise into panels. The areas around those panels become walking paths. Then next to the walking paths, it puts in hedges. In the interior space, it can drop in and insert trees at different densities. And then it scatters people across the green spaces and walking paths. So it's a very simple rule. You know, I can just change the, the length here of the split to 45 meters, right? And we get a longer, longer kind of green space and a longer extension of those walking paths. Um, it's being split along the rotation of the scope of the shape. So if I rotate that scope right, we can see that all the splits rotate as well. So I can change the orientation of the, of the walking paths. I can change the texture of the pavers that are going into these walking paths, the width of the paths themselves. Um, I can change the texture associated with the grass. The trees are models, but it uses the, the same kind of base uh, rule set for trees that we have in the, the vegetation rule set inside the city engine. So I could change those, for instance, to analytical trees or fan-based trees. I can increase the density of trees to give it a 30% tree coverage or set a maximum number of trees per acreage, increase the amount of hedges that I'm going to put along the walkways, and then let's just drop a, a lot more people into into this park space. So we have a lot more people enjoying a, a sunny day out in their city's park. So it gives you a way to quickly create improved park space in your urban environment. Likewise, we have this rule that's called natural park. Uh, it represents unimproved park space. Um, real simple, it drops in a grass texture on the ground. You can control the scale of that grass texture. And then uses the same kind of formula for inserting random trees across that to create this unimproved open space. So these are going to be our two rules of the week this week. Uh, I'll include links uh, to the rules uh, with this video and download them and take a look. The other question I got was, this building data, what does it look like well, in the geo database? Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is wrap up the City Engine project and post it up and link it from the video as well so you can take a look and take a look at how the data is formatted when you do a import from IFC in the GEO database. And for those of you that aren't City Engine users, uh, I made a couple other versions as well. I made a ArcGIS Pro version. This is Pro 1.4. Um, so the ArcGIS Pro project will be inside the City Engine project. Uh, if you navigate around, you'll be able to find it. And then also for people who are uh, using a bit old school technology, I made an ArcScene version as well. So you can take a look at that. And that ArcScene document is in the Scene folder inside the City Engine project.